Hey fam, what's up and welcome to Love Inspiration Space on the Internet. In today's video, we're going to be talking about seven signs you are forcing a relationship. I want you guys to stick around and let's talk love. Hey you and welcome back or welcome to Love Inspiration's YouTube channel. For those who don't know, my name is Angie. I'm the founder of Love Ends Free, where our mission is to build more powerful, transparent, and durable relationships. Now, before we get into all the jazz, I want you to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Love Ends Free. Make sure you stick around and join the fam and subscribe. And then as you watch the video, if you see that you like it, give us a little thumbs up. So let's get into sign number one. Sign number one that you are forcing a relationship is if you are staying for an ulterior motive. Are you staying because you really love this person or for the benefit of this person? Or not just a benefit or an advantage that this person is giving you or is it because you have a family? Is it because you guys live together or whatever the case may be? Make sure that you are only staying in a relationship because of love. Anything else shows that you're just forcing a relationship to either have it or to compensate for something else. Sign number two you are forcing a relationship is when you are sacrificing your happiness. Listen, a relationship is not something that you should be uh, sacrificing your happiness. Now, of course, there are things that you're gonna sacrifice, like maybe living somewhere else, or maybe, um, you know, what kind of uh, job you take or where you take, whatever the case may be, like there's other things that you could be sacrificing, right? Like you're gonna have to have compromise, make compromises and things of that sort. But it should never be your ultimate happiness. It should never be you are giving up yourself for the relationship. That means that you are forcing the relationship. Sign number three, you are forcing a relationship is when you have to beg for attention. Listen, attention is part of the game when you're in a relationship, right? If you cannot give your partner attention, you are not ready for a relationship. And if you are staying with somebody and they're not giving you the attention that the relationship and you require, you're probably forcing the relationship. You're probably staying for something else other than you truly think that this relationship is going to work. Should never be in a relationship with somebody, you know, like I always say that, you know, attention is what keeps your marriage thriving. Attention is what keeps your relationship going. You have to give your relationship attention as well as your significant other. Sign number four, you are forcing a relationship is when the communication is either non-existent or it's not going nowhere. So like somebody that doesn't really care or you have to constantly repeat yourself 80 million times before they get it. They never like to apologize for things. These are things to be watching and understanding that you're probably compromising something bigger. You have to have clear communication. You have to have good communication in order to maintain a healthy and um, active relationship. Sign number five, you are forcing a relationship is when you have no goals. Your relationship is going nowhere. Listen, relationship goals are very, very important. You need to be working towards something as a couple. That is what's going to keep your relationship intriguing and fun, working towards something together. And if you, don't, if you don't have goals in your relationship, even when you're in the committed relationship stage, you should still have certain goals, right? Up until when you get married, you should still have certain goals regardless of what you are trying to get done within a relationship, whether it's buying a house or purchasing a new car, or saving money to put your little kid in a freaking preschool or some kind of upscale school or whatever private school that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> you know these are things that you should be working towards together as a couple and if you have no goals you're definitely forcing a relationship because your relationship is not going nowhere having no goals in your relationship is literally like driving with no direction to a place you've never been sign number six you are forcing a relationship with somebody is when you have no friendship within the relationship there is no connection there is no level of death Guys, I can't express this to you enough. Friendship is the glue to a healthy relationship. On days where you struggle to really deal with this person, you have to remember that friendship that you have. You have to remember where you started and why you truly love this person, why you want this person around you and in your aura vibing with you. And that's what the friendship is going to do. And if you are in a relationship with somebody and you can't really truly call them a friend, and when you're in a committed relationship, I don't expect this person to be your best friend just yet. But if you can't call them a friend, like if you wouldn't rock with them, if y'all broke up, 
what are you in a relationship for? Sign number seven that you are forcing a relationship is when there is no emotional support. Definitely need a partner that is emotionally available. And somebody that is emotionally unavailable with themselves, with you, they're not going to be able to deal with conflict. They're not going to know when to apologize to you. They're not going to know when to or how to give the relationship the attention that it needs. And if you don't have these things, you don't have a true relationship. And guys, I have a bonus for you. You're forcing that relationship. <laughs> you know, this is a grown adult making grown people decisions. And you should not have to make excuses for them like you would make for your child. Okay? Listen, these are the signs that you're forcing a relationship. If you're going through any of, any of these things, leave me a comment below. Let's chat about it. Let's talk about it. Or if you want to book one-on-one -on -one services with myself, feel free to hop over to www.loveinspiry.com slash services. And we'll talk over there about all of your relationship needs and how we can get you going in the right direction. And that's first deciding the relationship is really worth fighting for or is it something that you need to give up? Now, if you know me, you know I'm all about fighting for relationships and giving people compassion, understanding that just because you were raised a certain way doesn't mean that your partner was raised this way. So there's gonna be some differences. There's gonna be some things that are contrary. And that's okay, but as long as you guys are focusing on and sharing the same values and morals with the right things, as long as you're not going through this list um, all of these things on the list now of course if you're touching on one of these things you know that's okay but if you find yourself three or more of these things that I just talked about you probably need to really truly identify if this relationship is worth fighting for if you can go long term in the relationship and yeah that's it so guys I'll see you all in the next video I hope you guys have a blessed blessed day a happy rest of the week and I'll see you guys all in the next one.